Our happiness is equal to our capacity to love. Lester Levinson. Hey everybody, Yogi Chevy here, and I am explaining step five in my eight step process to healing. And step five is simply this, just find things to love. And, um, you know, I also wanted to couple this with my yogic vow, which is my yogic vow is to be in self-expression and, and to believe in self-expression and self-expression with no judgment and self-expression where, um, we just allow each other just to be individuals. And for me, what my ultimate form of self-expression is two things. It's, it's Tai Chi and it's yoga. Um, and the reason why I picked those two is that they were both so hard for me to feel comfortable doing in front of people. It was like, it was like something for me that like set me apart, especially as a male in the United States to like be into yoga was, um, you know, it just, it's not very appreciated by some people, but it was when I was going through this struggle where I was like struggling to survive, where I was struggling to get out of bed, where I was struggling, you know, just to get through the day, it was like my one reprieve. It was like my um, activity um, to go to that I did just because I loved it and that it brought me healing. and. Um, you know, yoga and, and both Tai Chi really showed up for me in that space. And what started to develop is as I started to become more comfortable with it and just accept it as, as who I was, as my form of self-expression, as my form of self-love, was that um, I didn't really care what people thought about it. And, you know, I, I know that, you know, it was hard for a lot of people in my life when I really got into yoga and when I really got into Tai Chi because it was like, it was, it was, I quit everything else. You know, it was like that one question, like to find something to love just for the reason of loving it. It was like, I just started booting stuff out of my life. And you know, I mean, two activities that I can think of was hockey and golf. And I love to play hockey and I love to play golf, but it was like, for me, those two things I had played for my whole life and I did it for everybody else around me and I didn't do it for me. It's like I wanted a low golf score so that people would look at me and be like, I'm a great golfer. Or I wanted to score a hat trick because I wanted people to see me as a great hockey player and they're both very socially accepted um, ways of being for a man, but it wasn't what fired me up, you know? It was like, what fired me up was when I started to realize the potential that I had in my body. And when I started seeing that through my yoga teachers and through people around me where I was like, that's possible for me, where it wasn't possible for me at one point. And when I was in such pain that I could break those social bonds, it's like when I was so, in so much pain, it was like what people thought of me really started to go away. I was more concerned with just healing and I was more concerned with just finding peace. And, um, you know, a step that was really important for me in that was finding something to love. And, and for, for no reason, and whether that's, you know, knitting, you know, like I started painting in this time, I started doing bead work in that this time. And, um, you know, it was the more that I really laid into this concept of, of self-love and self-expression and just finding things that I love to do just because I loved them was very instrumental in me healing and being able to offer healing to other people. So that is, um, that's step five, is simply that, just to find things to love. And the only criteria that I put around that is one, that we don't hurt ourselves and that we don't hurt others. I mean, it's easy to love on alcohol and it's easy to love on uh, things that are destructive. And I think that, that the main thing about that is when we find things that we love that are destructive is because they're forms of self-punishment. And as we start to love ourselves and as we start to accept ourselves, those things just start to drop away naturally. And, um, but, um, and I'm so grateful for it. And for me, that's grace. And um, once I accept myself, I become beautiful. And once you accept yourself, you become beautiful. 
and um, that beauty is in the form of self-expression and it's in the form of what we love just because we love it so namaste people you are wonderful um, i hope you had a great weekend i spent the weekend with the most lovely people just loving and sharing and accepting each other for who we are and i'm just so grateful to have that those relationships in my life um, where it's just okay to be vulnerable and it is okay to be authentic and it is okay just to express yourself the way that you are so i love you namaste you guys have a great week and um please like and share if you can subscribe to my youtube channel i would be super grateful and um have a great day people live in love bye